Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the Patience card over here as the first card, so you are waiting for something to come in. And you're very an anxious about it. You're waiting for some kind of message to come in and you're very, very anxious about it. And it's going to lead you to make some kind of decision. Maybe you're waiting for some further information in order for you to make this particular decision uh, with that lover's card over here. But you're definitely extremely anxious about something. So you've been dealing with a brown-haired woman over here who's been uh, putting up stoppers, uh, preventing you from moving forward. So there's something that is wanting to come into your life, but somebody's standing in a way in your way. It's an obstacle. And maybe she's blocking abundance from coming into your life here. Uh, maybe a new job, maybe a promotion, something that she's preventing from coming in and you're dealing with that. And maybe this is what you're waiting for, news about that situation in order for you to move on. Now, in this current situation, you've got a lot of hidden enemies, so people doing things behind your back or a lot going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. And you have a lot of doubts, so they are affecting your self-confidence as well. Uh, so this is probably what is causing a lot of anxiety. So you've got a lot of anxiety and doubts going on. Uh, and people doing things that are not so good behind your back. So there's some kind of important decision that you will soon need to make. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Sorceress Tarot. I have put the deck in the description box. So have a look. Okay, so you've got the King of Pentacles over here. So this could be a new job offer coming in for you, and maybe you're waiting for news for this. Um, it is definitely going to be bringing in new money, and it's um, a better position. It's a lot more authority. So you're going to have a lot more control, or you're going to be you know, in charge of a lot more people, or in charge of a lot more resources. So this is what you're probably waiting for. You're trying to focus on this coin. You're trying to get or maybe manifest this particular position. But this is a position of money. Uh, this is the money card, really. And so that money will be coming in for you. So you're waiting for that uh, you know, news of this new job to come in for, you, for yourself. So you've had a lot of options. You've been thinking about things a lot. So these options that have been available for you in the past uh, or that you've been considering are not things that you want. You've, you can see this little girl has got her back turned to all these goblins behind her. So, you know, maybe there's all these choices available for you, but, um, you know, they're not... Uh, they're not ticking any of the boxes that you want, so you're not really considering them. You're actually turning, you've you've turned down a lot of offers. Now, you're dealing with somebody around you. You may be feeling very stuck in this particular position. You may be feeling a bit, uh, you know, very negative about this particular position. You're working very, very hard. This is the devil card. It's ruled by Capricorn, which, uh, you know, is ruled by Saturn. And there's talking about information that has been hidden from you or things that have not come to light. But you're also being very manipulated and very controlled within the situation. And, uh, you know, uh, that this is probably the reason why uh, you want to leave. Uh, so you're looking for a means of, of leaving this particular job. So in the past, there's been a lot of backstabbing. There's been some kind of incident that happened uh, to you. Maybe you have even lost your job. This is the Ten of, uh, of Swords. Um, so uh, maybe this is the reason why you're so anxious. Maybe you've lost your job and you're waiting for news uh, for this particular job to come in. And it looks like, you know, there's been a lot of backstabbing. Uh, there has been some kind of major big incident that has happened that has meant that you walked away from, from this uh, situation. So something happened uh, that caused a lot of drama and it was due to betrayal by people around you. Um, maybe promises had been made. Uh, maybe even there was some kind of legal decision that was made that did not go in your favor. But somehow there was a great loss that happened. And you can see even here with that Ten of Cups, it's, uh, you know, a great loss that happened at the end of that particular cycle. So everything seemed to have come to an abrupt end over here. Uh, so you've ended, uh, you know, you could have ended up in a legal uh, situation. Uh, and that was due to, uh, you know, people manipulating it. Lots of betrayal, lies, deceit going on. And you're very upset about it. You've got that Ten of Cups over here. And you can see how miserable this uh, woman looks uh, sitting here. So something has happened that has caused a lot of upset uh, and, you know, there's a, been a big loss that you have been facing recently. So what you want is a new job, really. This is what you're focusing on. And may you 
you want to actually move away from wherever you are living at, uh, it seems. So you want to travel away from this particular area. You want to move out of the situation. And you are trying to focus on this uh, particular, uh, on, fi on finances, really. So you are looking for a job, it seems, and, you know, uh, you are willing to work pretty hard to get that. There is something in that situation that is very manipulative. So something happened, caused a lot of problems. You are being manipulated right now. So you could be, this could be about being manipulated within the situation with the devil card or you being, you know, you're feeling really, really trapped uh, within your circumstance and not really knowing what to do. Um, you know, there could be somebody that caused all of these problems, uh, you know, that caused the betrayal. So, you know, you could be still in that situation, but, you know, you feel as though everything has come to a help, uh, an end and you, you want to find something brand new. So uh, you've got the hermit card over here. So you are spending a lot of time by yourself. You might even be doing some study or something to further your uh, skill set over here. Uh, so this is ruled by Virgo, trying to focus on the work again, uh, but feeling very unsupported uh, and, uh, you know, maybe waiting even for some news to come in as well about maybe putting in, new, uh, you know, new jobs, uh, applications. So maybe you're trying to, you, you're really trying to get out of this particular situation. Whatever options are available to you right now doesn't seem to be uh, of interest to you right now. So somebody has caused quite a lot of problems for you. Somebody who is very, very manipulative. Now you could have been dealing with a Capricorn person as well. This could well be the case. But, you know, this is that job situation and feeling very, very negative about it. So it looks like, you know, you're going to cut ties and move on. So whatever has happened in the situation caused so much of problems and there was a lot of loss. There might have been legal uh, issues that you had to face. And it looks like you're going to cut ties with this particular situation and move on. Uh, and, you know, there's some deadline that you're working to. Uh, there's some time issue going on over here. So, um, you know, it looks like you have had enough and you want to move forward. Even here, this hermit looks like, you know, you've uh, had enough and you're moving forward. You might even be going on uh, into business by yourself. The hermit tends to be a loner. They're also an expert at whatever they're doing. So you ha maybe you're taking on some kind of consulting job, but you're moving away. You're leaving. Uh, in both these cards, you can see leaving uh, that situation behind, cutting it out, really. Now, you've got this um, King of Cups over here. So there's a new job offer coming in for you. Um, so this could be... Um, somebody offering you something that's much more stable. Now, the King of Cups is the card for, for cancer. Uh, so this is about you maybe going and looking even for a new job uh, that offers you that stability as well. Now, uh, the King of Cups also tends to uh, be involved with either teaching, maybe taking on a teaching role, um, but also it could be something that's uh, where your health has been affected as well and you needing to seek some kind of medical ad advice or, you know, uh, maybe need some medical cons consultation for any stress-related illnesses that may have come up or emerged because you have been, uh, you know, so stressed out about what has been going on. But it looks like, you know, you are looking for that new offer and it looks like maybe that new offer is going to be coming in for you. And like I said, it might involve some kind of teaching role that you take on. So you are considering all your options. You're even, uh, you know, trying to assess your finances over here. You've got this page of pentacles. You are waiting for news about these jobs. So I'm saying these jobs because there could be two jobs on the table over here because this man's holding two pentacles over here. So there are two options available for you and now you're trying to make a decision as to which one you want to uh, take. So going into the future or the final outcome, uh, you've got the four of uh, swords over here, the four of pentacles, and you've got this um, page of cups over here. So the four of um, swords is, you know, being very stressed about what had happened, uh, maybe needing to improve your skill set a little bit in order for you to bring that manifestation in, but maybe taking a little bit of a break. And this might also indicate that you may be going through some kind of illness and you need to recover. Now, it is also you need to come up with a new strategy on what you want to do. So uh, you have gone through a period, uh, something has happened. This is the card that follows the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is, you know, about betrayal and about uh, people letting you down. It's even breakdowns of communication between you and somebody else. Uh, so, you know, this is taking a little break from everything, taking a step back to come up with a new plan, to recover from any illness that you might be going through, um, and to, uh, you know, get uh, a new vision in, in place. And that's what you do need to do. 
You need to also watch your finances with this Four of Pentacles. So watch uh, money going in and out. Watch your spending as well. Now, the Four of Pentacles also shows that there's stability that is coming in because both the, the Fours are about stability where you take a little bit of a break in between you know, all the drama and reassess things and get some kind of uh, you know, ground yourself, really. So that's what you need to do. So like I said, watch your finances as well, as well. You've got owls in this card as well. You've got a book down over here. So you do need to do some studying or some research in order maybe to bring your uh, your skills set up or, you know, get back on track again. So there's some kind of research, some kind of information that you are missing and you need to actually, um, you know, supplement yourself with that. Now, a new offer is going to be coming in. You've got this... Um, page of cups coming in bringing in that new offer for you uh something much more fulfilling so you've been waiting for it uh you know waiting for this new offer it looks like that it, it is coming in for you and it is coming in pretty soon so you know you will be able to get uh through the situation so whatever you've been trying uh, you are going to be able to walk away from this old situation you've got that death card of here cut your ties cut your losses and move on uh, because it seems like, you know, it was a pretty toxic situation that you were in. So a lot has happened. You've gone through a lot. This has happened in the past. Uh, maybe you've just been hanging in there and now you've made inroads into finding a new a job or, or, you know, looking for a solution to your problems. But it also looks like the money is going to be coming in as well with that King of Pentacles. So that's going to give you that financial independence and, uh, you know, help you get through um, your uh, financial problems. In the meantime, just make sure that, you know, you are watching your spending with that four of uh, Pentacles there. So... This is cards from the uh, Fairy Tarot. And this is... Um, the oracle read so it says let go of belief systems that no longer uh, work for you an important life-changing event a situation that leads to significant opportunities so some big change coming in this is the tower card so some big uh you know a life-changing e event coming in for you that allows you to move on so it allows you to bring that death card energy in to cut out, cut your losses and go. So something's going to be ha going on uh, around you uh, that's going to force you into making a decision about leaving and moving on. And there you're going to start brand new again. So you've got uh, the dreamer or the fool card over here, which says uh, embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure and trust yourself. So your road is open over here, something coming in to take you out of that situation or move you along and you're going to start a brand new journey over here. And it's a new offer coming in because you've got this um, four of summer, which is uh, being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity uh, or taking something as someone for granted. So it looks like there's a brand new beginning coming in over here. So something is going to maybe be a bit, uh, you know, change the energy a bit. Uh, well, a lot, because the tower card usually, uh, you know, is something that causes quite a bit, bit of a upheaval over there. Uh, so you're going to start something brand new, and there's that opportunity that comes in for you. Don't discount any opportunity that is presented to you, and don't be distracted by any drama that goes on around you. So even though, even if the t a tower brings you a drama, make sure that you are pretty focused and ground yourself so that you see that opportunity coming, because it's going to open the road for you, open your pathway for you, and you know somebody's going to be able to point the way for you you've got this dog showing this man the way to go so something's going to come in for you that's going to or somebody even around you uh bring you an opportunity that shows you um you know takes you along your course and helps you start a brand new cycle a brand new journey so you're going to be walking away from an old situation that is no longer serving you because you've been dealing with a lot of toxicity Something big uh, coming in to, um, you know, maybe upset the apple cart a little bit, but gets you on the road towards success. And it's an opportunity as well coming in over there, so don't miss it. So come up, uh, you know, take a little bit, uh, stand back from the situation a little bit. If you're going through any health problems, make sure you're seeking medical attention and healing from whatever problems you're going through. Uh, you might need to do some supplementary uh, research or you might need to do some kind of training uh, in order, you know, um, for you to uh, supplement your skill set. Uh, and watch that spending as well. But there's definitely a good offer coming in for you that will help you move on to something better and bring that money in with that King of Pentacles. So I hope that this reading has resonated. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.